So SDCC has dropped a whole bunch of reveals, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. It's this is loaded. <laughs> this yep. is a lot of stuff. Uh, Let's say so, that again. It's quite yeah. Quite a bit. So me and Jaws D are gonna kind of try to go through this um, as much as possible. I don't think we're gonna try to cover everything, but we'll just try to cover this and that that catches our eye. And the first one that we're gonna dive into um, is this jazz that has been revealed. That uh, according to Hasbro's official statement is a deluxe. Uh huh. Um, and it looks like. It's a major retool of the cars that we've gotten from Menasaur, like a major mm -hmm. overhaul retool. Because you could see, especially in the robot mode, a lot of the bits and pieces that make the traditional Combiner Wars um, skeletons, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a theory, and I posted this already on Twitter, but I might as well share it here too. Go for I have it. a theory that um, because I'm looking at this deluxe car, and I'm looking at it in, in, in size comparison next to some of the other characters. And it's a little larger than most deluxe cars. And I feel like because of the choice of this alt mode, and again, it's, it's you know, why didn't they go with a more traditional Porsche or, or something mm -hmm. like that? They went for something more of that kind of Le Mans looking or GT looking body. It looks more like a Ferrari. I forgot the specific number, but it looks more like a, like one of those Le Mans Ferrari, I think. Oh, yeah, totally. Right. But it's just like, I think that the reason why they went with that overall look um, is because of the plans of repaints that could be down the line. And I feel personally, and it's funny, we were kind of just talking about this not too long ago mm -hmm. uh, with, the, with the third party product panel. Right. Uh, Braver from Road Caesar. Mm -hmm. um, he is totally that, that kind of alt mode. And I could totally see them making using like obviously because we already have some kind of a Lamborghini uh, from Combiner Wars from Menasaur right. so they could do something that'll make Laster from that the Jazz mold will be braver and then they'll make a brand new unique mold that's an oversized dune buggy that'll mm -hmm. attach and make the centerpiece for Road Caesar and again this once again lends to the theory that I always have that third party does stuff before official because they know it's coming Mm -hmm. So this, you know, this third party, you know, thing that's coming is it adds credence to that. Right. So I th I mean, that's just my theory. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of other Transformers that kind of share that that Le Mans car look. There's Daytonas from the R.I.D. Spy Changers. There's there's a few others that come to mind. Same thing, like there was a character named Lightspeed, which was what Braver was also repainted from in Europe. I mean, there's 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 a few things that this could be repainted into, and I'm already just I'm already seeing where they're going with this. But so <laughs> far, as it being jazz, um, I really dig it. I think it looks really nice. I think it's um, I think it's a good and I think you know what it is it's it's you ask yourself, and I'm gonna probably get into this when we do Rodimus also. Okay. You kind of ask yourself like, who is this for? Because obviously we're gonna be getting a jazz down the line. Right. Masterpiece. So, if we're going to be getting a jazz and masterpiece down the line, you don't need to make something of that caliber in the deluxe here. You might as well do something that's different. And this is definitely different. You know, um, it's it's a, it's different than what we've gotten from jazz in the past in terms of a uh, in terms of a shape and everything. And right, very very off. Like not not. Not off in a bad way, but I mean, like, just very different in style. Yeah. Like, usually they try to keep it similar, but this is like, okay, it's so, yeah, it's got the fins, yeah, it's got the martini logo, it's got the number four, it's got the colors, uh, it's got the little red stripe around the uh, front skirt, but it's just... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's like if, if you did a hot rod toy, you mm. know, what decals do you put on it? What are the you know you got to have that yellow spoiler you got to have the flame on on the hood like it's the same thing there's the certain jazz credences that they hit on to make sure um, and the all white body because uh, what conf like what surprises me is that he does he's not a headmaster yeah clearly not well again it's a combiner <laughs> wars uh, it's a combiner wars uh, shell if you will or yeah just, I'm surprised they're going back 
You know what I mean? Back to Combiner Wars, I guess. I, again, certain, I think I think it, characters. It, it adds more to what I was my theory before, where I think that there's a they had they had plans for like I, usually a lot of times I see this with Hasbro, and they started doing that when they when they had Cybertron Galaxy Force, which is they usually they have an idea, and mm. they go, "That's a really good idea," but then they go, "Okay, before we do that good idea, let's do two okay ideas based like they'll have a mold and they'll go man this mold is great this would make a great huffer and then everyone will go yeah that's a great huffer but guess what we're going to do two paint jobs before that huffer of something else i already got a good example for that remember i showed it to you before which one uh combiner force blast wave which one's that one that that was the not uh, that was the tiny quote unquote not bludgeon. And then oh they, yeah, yeah, yeah! And then they yeah. recently showed off. Oh, yeah, we're doing bludgeon. And, yeah, but it's blast wave basically. You're, yeah, you're talking about yeah the RID 2.0 combiner force blast wave. Yeah, you're right. I yeah. totally forgot about that. Yeah, so well, that, mean, that, that so and that one's blatant. That mm-hmm. one's totally blatant. Where you're looking at it and going, man, that's 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 bludgeon. And what's even more messed up about it is that you look at its face on the figure, and it's clearly painted white skull face with the samurai uh, helmet, then you look at the image of the character on the card back, and it's supposed to be a face. <laughs> like, they literally didn't even change the face on it. And, and, the, the, it's painted white, and it looks like a skull. And, and then you see the card back, that, and it looks like a regular face. Hasbro's been doing that for more than like more than 10 years now. They've been, they've been using that kind of process. And I think what happened was, is they probably went like they obviously they work in in tandem with Takara and Takara's probably like man we really want to do Road Caesar and they're like okay we'll do Road Caesar and they made the mold for for because they didn't need to do anything for a Ferrari excuse me yeah. a Lamborghini but then well, they did for a Ferrari they did they did this Le Mans and then they're like okay here's our braver and then they're like okay that's great but here's what we're going to do before we put that out there Mm-hmm. What else could we make this, you know? Yeah. And then they probably went, well, jazz will work with this. We haven't done jazz for like, you know, a minute. You know? Which is pretty cool because, I mean, that's very similar to how car companies work now where they'll share platforms and they'll do their own little spin on each platform. Yeah, and, and, and the ironic thing is... makes sense. It saves, it saves money on R&D and stuff like that and you split the costs. And, and the funny thing is, is um, not too long ago, I'd have to say around maybe 2000... I want to say like 2006, 2007 ish, or maybe 2005. Uh, there was a dollar, a family dollar line of spy changers that were all like they took the spy changers, but they repainted all of them as G1 characters. Mm. And they took Daytonis and they made him Wheeljack. And Daytonis, like this, like this design, this Le Mans design, they made it Wheeljack, while the Porsche looking one was Jazz. Yeah. So it's like it, it, it really shows how, you know, there's certain silhouettes if you will that mm-hmm. have up to this point have been associated with jazz and go you know that makes a good jazz repaint and you know whether it be there was a, there was a character called Crosswise in Cybertron that they made its shattered glass jazz when they did a, a box set in 2008 at BotCon right. like little, little things like that here and there that just so, but, so do you think this is a, a more uh, I guess hold the, lic- hold the registry name uh, until I w- I it's like a holdout say- I want to say that, but Jazz has already had a toy in the new Robots in Disguise line, mm-hmm. um, so they already kind of threw that in. I be- but mind you, that was 2016. But yeah, this is, is 2017. It, it had, you know, so maybe this is a 2017 release. Again, this toy, by the time we see it, anyways, it'll probably be 2018 for all we know. Yeah, you know, I mean, it'll probably be a while from now. So, I mean, yeah, that, that's one possibility. It could be that because Lord knows on the movie side of things, it's been dry. So. Yeah. So it's 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 a possibility. That's one one thing, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's like like I said when they look at that mold and they go, okay, it's going to be braver. But what do we do with this beforehand? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they they look at the IP registrations and go, well, you know, we haven't used jazz. We're, you know, the projected images we have, we're not going to use jazz for two to three years. Might as well mm-hmm. throw it here. Yeah. So, but overall, I think it looks great. Um, I think it looks great. I think the the head sculpt works it with it. The weapon works with it. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, it's 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 your classic combiner wars. I mean, if you've messed with one combiner limb uh, of the cars, you've kind of messed with them all. They have all very similar um, leg transformation and and body transformation. But I mean, it looks great. 
and I, I dig that there's you know there's the traditional jazz head sculpt and the clear blue plastics in the right areas. Right. So I think it's cool. And uh, again, but I, it's more so me going like I can't wait for that uh, braver because <laughs> I'm a big road Caesar guy. So anything you want to touch on? Because that's your mm, boy. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm kind of not feeling it personally. It's okay. I'm like I'm, 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 I'm like I like, like I already own uh, you know one of the better molds of jazz from uh, from universe two generations slash. Chug or whatever you want to call that. Oh yeah, totally. uh, and 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 again, I feel that's it's, like the it's new, like that's I said. The... Well, it's like I said before. It's just like you just got to kind of ask yourself, who is this for? Yeah, you know. And I'm I'm going to get to that when we get to Rodimus, especially because I'm I'm a, not a similar kind of criticism with that too. Because I'm not a big fan of Combiner Wars personally. I just kind of eh, skip that whole. I I, I feel that only, yeah, I think the I feel only thing that Combiner got, Wars has its combiner... purpose for its combiners, but I think that when it goes outside of the traditional characters mm. that's where it kind of stretches a little bit there has been some gems in that like you know like characters uh um oh my god why am i drawing Not a blank breacher. on his name Excuse breacher 2.0 what were you saying sorry breacher 2.0 yeah like breacher 2.0 aka like it, um oh my god why am i blank on his name? i mean it was used tarantulas you use the mold yeah we for use them for tarantulas but yeah exactly that one that one i got that mold. that one i actually thought was really cool and i dug that but I don't know this. Yeah, there's. Eh, I mean, sure, sure. If it puts another jazz out there, makes people remember jazz. I'm all for it. Again, puts them puts them at a good cheap price point for people to get them. Well, yeah, that's what I'm quote, saying. Cheap. It's it's that's that's who it's for. You know, you that's know? who it's for. Because I mean, we're gonna get our masterpiece jazz, and then a Just lot of this will be rendered pointless. Exactly. 